Hello, my name is Salvador Alvarado, and I'm a member of the Carmen Domingo Lab at San Francisco State University, where we study how cells acquire specific cell fates and morphologies during embryonic development. One such group of cells are neurocrest cells. Before going forward, however, I would like to give a little background on where these cells come from and how they develop. On the left, we have a schematic diagram of an embryo at the end of gastrulation. If we zoom in on this area right here, we can clearly see that at this point, the three germ layers, the ectoderm, mesoderm, and endoderm are completely formed. What follows next is a process known as neurulation, which is when the initial phase of neurocrystal formation takes place. The future neurocrystals are located in an area known as the neural plate border, which is located at the edges of the neural plate. Neurulation begins with the neural folds rising upward, which is followed by the neural plate invaginating inwards into the mesoderm. While this is taking place, the pre-migratory neurocrystals are found in the neural fold. That is until they eventually fuse. This fusion is the result of the conversion of the originally flat neural plate into a cylindrical structure known as the neural tube. Once this has taken place, the neocrystals are now going to be located in the dorsal aspect of this newly formed structure. The neocrystals, which are found all along the embryo, will subsequently adopt different fates and contribute to the formation of different tissues and organs. This, however, will depend on two things where along the embryo they are located, are they cranial, vagal, trunk, or sacral, and it would also depend on their subsequent migratory pathways. It is this migratory pathways that will be the focus of my research. My objective is to compare neurocrystal migration patterns in different model organisms to try and find similarities and differences among them. Based on the literature and current research, I hypothesize that the migration patterns that will be observed are conserved among the species. To carry out this project, I plan to generate raw images of neural cell crest migration from three model organisms, the chick, the frog, and the zebrafish. This would also be facilitated by working in conjunction with labs at San Francisco State University. Lastly, through my project, I seek to create a detailed and organized library of images depicting and comparing the migratory patterns of neurocrest cells with the, hope that per, with the hope that this will permit scientists such as evolutionary biologists rapid access to data that they might need for future or ongoing projects. Thank you.